Hello, today we're going to show you how to measure your pool for a new liner. As liners become old, faded, and stained, they are going to need to be replaced. In this video, we're going to show you how to do that step by step. To begin the process, get the following items and tools that you will need. Step 1. Measuring the length and the width of the pool. Take your tape measure and measure the entire length of the pool directly to the liner and not the white coping. As you can see here, it's 40 feet. Then take the tape measure and measure the width of the pool in the same way directly to the liner. And in this example, it's 20 feet. Then copy these numbers to the order form as you can see here in yellow, 20 and 40. Step two, measuring the corners. Pools will either have a square, diagonal, or radius corner. In our example, we have radius corners. And the technique here is to measure from the last piece of straight wall under the clip on both sides, making a right angle. And in this measurement, you can see it's 24 inches or a two foot radius and then you'll take this figure and put it in the radius section in yellow. Step three, measuring the depth at the shallow end. Take your tape measure and measure up to the extrusion, which is where the liner is inserted. Please be sure not to measure up to the white coping. In this example, we have 40 inches. This measurement may differ at different places around your pool. If this should happen, take the lesser of these amounts to give the liner a chance to stretch. Then take this data and put it onto the order form, which is marked in yellow here. Step four, measuring how long the shallow end of the pool is. Extend the beginning of your tape measure all the way to the break point, which is where the shallow end slopes off to the deep end. Then read the measurement from your tape measure. In this example, it's 13 feet, 4 inches. Then take this figure and transfer it to the order form, which is highlighted in yellow here. Step 5. Measuring the slope of the deep end. As you can see in this cross section of the deep end, we'll be measuring the slope distance which is illustrated in red. Usually both the right and left sides are exactly the same as well as the back bay, which is the slope at the end of the deep end. However, in some cases it can be different, so you may need to measure that also. We're using a custom made measuring tool for this measurement. This tool is made with two aluminum poles that are 96 inches long. One pole has a 96 inch folding ruler attached to it. Both poles are attached so that they rotate freely around each other. You can also use two 2 by 2 inch pieces of wood 96 inches long. One person will place this on the deep end while another holds a measuring tape on the top of the pole and measures the distance. In this case it's 48 inches. Take this figure and transfer it to the illustrated yellow box area in the order form. Step 6A, measuring the hopper, flat area width of the deep end. In the cross section, we are taking the 20 feet that we got in step one for the width of the pool, and then from the previous step we just did, four feet on either side for the slope distance. 20 minus eight is 12 feet. So the hopper width is 12 feet, which can now be transferred to the illustrated yellow box in the order form. Step 6B, measuring the hopper, flat area length of deep end. Take the beginning of the measuring tape and place it on the crease going up the slope to the shallow end. And the measuring side is placed at the crease where the slope is going up to the deck. And this distance 
is 84 inches or 7 feet in this example. It can then be placed in the appropriate box, which is illustrated in yellow here, H. And then we can easily obtain J with the previous measurements in the earlier steps. You take the following numbers and add them up. 4 feet from the slope distance plus 7 feet with the hopper length and then there's a shallow end we measured at 13 feet 4 inches. We subtract these numbers from 40 and we get 15 feet 8 inches. Step 7 measuring the depth of the deep end. We can once again use our specially made measuring device to measure the depth of the deep end. It's important to have one end of the device as far to the center of the deep end as possible. In this example, the measurement up to the waterline is 94 inches. However, we also need to measure up to the extrusion, which can be done at the sidewall. In this example, it's four inches from the waterline to the extrusion. We also need to allow for two inches for the liner to stretch, especially on warm day installations. In this illustration, you can see we subtracted the two inches from the four inches to come up with 96 inches or an eight foot depth. You then take this figure and copy it to the correct box illustrated in yellow. And there you have it, measuring a swimming pool liner. And thanks for watching.